Hi everyone and welcome. This is Elena and I'm back with a couple more cards using the new Summer uh, Hero Arts 2017 release, 2000 summer, 17 summer release and I'm using some of the Share Handmade Cardness um, products. I'm using the Love is Love uh, bold prints background stamp and Handmade Kindness um, die. So I'm lining up the background stamp on into my Misty Original and I'm going to stamp with Versamark onto some black cardstock. So I'm doing a couple backgrounds here and I'm applying the embossing tool, the powder tool. So when I apply the white embossing powder, I don't have a lot of speckles around my background. So now I'm applying uh, the Hero Arts white embossing powder. And in the next step, I'll just heat set that. Gonna snap it with my heat tool. When you do this, uh, make sure that your heat tool is heated before um, setting your embossing powder. That makes uh, for faster melting and as well for not so many much wrapping of your uh, cardstock. Next, I have the die cut sentiments on the back of my cardstock. I um, added a sticky adhesive so that way it makes it easier to adhere it um, onto my project. So I'm just um, applying some Versamark onto the die cut and then some uh, fine clear embossing powder from Hero Arts and heat setting that and then the little dot for the eye. And I'll repeat the same for the uh, pink one. So next I have uh, two ovals die cut from the oval infinity dice and on top of it I'm adhering the sentiment. And then I just burnished it uh, with uh, my uh, um, bone folder on the back. I didn't want to do it on top because I had the embossing powder. So that makes uh, that adhesive set and uh, adhere sticks nicely. So next I'm adding the eye. So next I have my card bases here. This is Sweet Gelato from W Plus 9 and this is Bull Party from Stampin' Up. Next I'm using some fun foam. I'm using black fun foam to adhere it on the back of my panels and then I'm adhering it onto my card bases. And on top of it I'll just adhere the oval with the sentiments and we're done. So after I made those two I decided to go back again and make one more. They're kind of addictive. So this time uh, I won't emboss with white embossing powder but I'll emboss with clear embossing powder with the ultra refined uh, clear embossing powder from Hero Arts. So I'm just adding, making sure that I have good coverage. So I think that's pretty good. Okay, next I'll use my heat tool to heat set the embossing powder. You can see here how it's melting. The white kind of, the white looking powder disappears and we have this nice textured white shiny, well not really white but clear shiny um, background. So now that's all melted. And next I'll die cut um, Another sentiment from the pink um, cardstock and I'm using the um, sticky adhesive. So by the magic of faith of YouTube I already had that die cut. Now I am just folding my card base. I'm using the again the sweet gelato um, cardstock from W plus 9. And then on top of it, I will adhere my panel. I trimmed the panel to four, uh, three and three quarters by five. And I'm using some adhesive, tape adhesive to adhere it onto my 
card base. So there is the sentiment, just removing all the little pieces here. So I removed all the little pieces from my sentiment, from the die cut. So next I'll just adhere it onto my card. Tear the eye and we're done. Thanks for watching and see you soon in another video. Bye!